Hey guys, how you doing? This is Paul from Paul and Tech, and today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Amazon Basics Wireless USB Mac. Enjoy! As the name of this device suggests, the mouse is very basic. In fact, there's only three buttons on the entire mouse. There's a left click, right click, and scroll wheel click. That's it. You don't get any of the fancy side buttons or left and right scrolling that you get with more expensive mice. As you take a look around the device, you'll notice that on top there's a nice soft touch black material that feels nice and also adds to the look of the mouse. The scroll wheel is a rubbery plastic that has a small LED light under it that we'll talk about in just a minute. A glossy black plastic material coats the perimeter of the device as well as around the scroll wheel. Right in the middle of the mouse, you'll notice the Amazon Basics logo, which looks nice because it adds some character to the otherwise plain looking mouse. And a fun fact for you guys, I didn't know this until just a couple days ago, the little arrow beneath the Amazon logo that starts at the A and ends at the Z means that they carry everything from A to Z. So I just thought that was kind of cool and I'd let you guys know that. Now on the sides and bottom of the device, you'll notice it's a harder black plastic, which helps it slide a little bit better on various surfaces. As you turn the mouse over, you'll notice a little sticker that says some information about the product, an on and off switch, a connect button, the sensor, and finally a little latch that's really easy to remove, and underneath it, you'll find two AAA batteries that actually come with the mouse when you first purchase it. So that brings us to the battery life. And I have to tell you guys, the battery life on this device is very good. I've been using it heavily for a solid month, and it's still going strong on the same AAA batteries that came with the mouse when I first bought it. Now, on the Amazon page, it doesn't say any official information about how long the batteries are supposed to last, but I read a review that said this customer used it heavily for two months, and it finally died out, so I assume the average user could get about three months of use out of this mouse, which is pretty good for just two AAA batteries. I mentioned this little LED indicator below the scroll mouse before, and I haven't had this happen to me yet, but I heard when you get low battery, the LED starts flashing to warn you that your battery is low and that you should get some more batteries before your mouse dies. You'll also notice that there's a little hole in between the two batteries, and that's for the nano receiver, or in other words, the USB dongle that you plug into your computer to use the mouse wirelessly. So if you're traveling with this mouse, you don't have to worry. You can just pop the nano receiver right in between the two batteries and you're good to go. Now the best thing about this nano receiver is that it's so small, you would never even notice it in your computer in the first place and you could just leave it in there the whole time and forget about it and you're good to go with your mouse 24-7. Now as we're talking about this nano receiver, let's talk a little bit about the range this mouse has. I haven't used other wireless USB mouses, but I have to say the range on this is not very far. I can normally get about six to eight feet and not much more than that. Then it starts glitching out and if you go any further than eight feet, you pretty much lose connection. Now this mouse wouldn't be of any use to any of you if you didn't know how to use it. And I have to say, using this device is extremely simple. As you can see here, this is actually the first time I'm plugging this mouse into this computer. I've never used the mouse before on this computer. And all I need to do is take out the nano receiver, plug it into a USB port on the computer, click the connect button on the bottom of the mouse, and make sure the mouse is on of course, and then swivel the mouse around a bit, and you're good to go. It's really that easy. One of the coolest things about this mouse is that it works on virtually any surface. I've tried it on my desk, my bed, the carpet, the chair, everything I tried it on it works. So you won't have to worry about finding a material that the mouse would work well on. One downside about this mouse is that it is very small. It actually fits my hands perfectly, but I have rather small hands and people with larger hands might have trouble using this mouse because it is significantly smaller than other traditional mice. The weight of this device is just right, not too heavy and not too light, and that can really add to your browsing experience. As you guys can see, I'm really enjoying this mouse. And to top it all off, 
it's only $11.49 on Amazon at the time of this recording. This mouse is basic, but it works, and that's what's great about it. It does what it needs to do flawlessly, and unless you have large hands, I can easily recommend this mouse to you. So guys, that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below, and if you didn't like it, leave me a comment down below telling me what I can improve upon in my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for future content. I might be covering the Logitech K360 keyboard that's behind me right now, so you guys can look forward to that, and subscribe for more content coming from me in the near future. Thanks!